Hey guys, it's Al with Tech Made Easy. And guess what? I've got the brand new EcoFlow 220 watt bifacial solar panel. That's right. This is a 2024 edition bifacial, meaning that you can get power from the front and the back. Now, we did a ton of tests with the older model. And uh, this one here has a couple of nice updates. First of all, uh, it doesn't have a kickstand anymore that blocks the back. It actually has a redesigned kickstand, so I can't wait to show you that. All right. This also has a built-in solar angle guide, so you got to check that out. It's actually pretty cool. It's IP68 waterproof, and they are claiming a 25% high conversion rate. I can't wait to check this out. Again, we're going to unbox it. We're going to take a close look, show you what's included, and we're going to do a quick test in this video. Just a quick test to see what we get. And we're going to be testing it with a Delta 2. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. Why don't we go ahead and get this unboxed? Now, I want to show you this just in case you buy this because if you take this out of the box, you're thinking, hey, there's no solar uh, cables included, but they are. They're actually buried on the bottom of the box. Not a good idea, but you see that? They're buried on the bottom of the box. And if you took this out, you would be calling EcoFlow going, hey, I don't have my solar uh, cables, but you do. Look on the bottom of the box. And there it goes. Unboxed. Obviously, we had to show you that box on the bottom of the box i'll tell you make sure you see that if you buy one of these because you'll be like well, i didn't get my solar cables but look at that it's unboxed we get a uh, guide a quick start guide we get xt60i cables in the box that's the eye there that little extra piece of metal and people wonder what the difference is between xt60 and xt60i this merely makes a big difference um, in solar by the way, but uh, let's take a look at this real quick I'll put the camera in here so we can kind of just take a look at the casing So this is now just so you'll know it is just now a case. It is no longer a kickstand All right, you do get these uh, there's a nice seal here not that this is waterproof, but uh, you know really nice zippers and uh, you know you get your carry handle made very well add some cushion you know when you're running around carrying it so let me crack this open and we'll take a close look at the uh, panel so here's the panel you could already see the redesigned kickstand and that is your case that's all you use that for now is a case now i'm going to put a note up on the screen after contacting uh, ecoflow I do believe there's glass involved in here, um, built into the panel. I'll confirm because you do want to be careful, I believe, but I'll put a note up right here if uh, EcoFlow has confirmed that there's glass on this 220 watt panel. So here is the final update from EcoFlow. So the newer model is actually lighter. It's only 1.1 mm. The previous model was 1.8 mm. But yes, they actually do use glass in this specific panel for the bifacial feature. I want to tell you this before we take a look at the panel that we are going to be doing our solar test with a Delta II. All right, we did a video on the Delta II also. I'll put the link in the video description if you want to see it. But here are the solar specs for the Delta II and the 220 watt bifacial panel in the left hand corner. All right, you're going to notice that it actually creates wattage in the front and the back also. I'm going to put that on the bottom so you can see that it can produce in the front and it can produce in the back. 
But there are your solar specs, so you can see that this panel matches this power station pretty well. All right, let's go ahead and take that close look on the solar panel. Some more information before we continue. Uh, the coating on the panel is an ETFE coating. It is IP68, so it's protected against dust and water. It has an integrated solar angle guide. We'll show you that in the video. And you can get up to a 25% solar conversion efficiency rate, which is really good for a solar panel. The weight is 15.9 pounds or 7.2 kilograms, and you do get a one-year warranty. So here it is, the 220 watt bifacial. Now, of course, this is the front, and there's a way you can tell. <laughs> it doesn't have the kickstands on the front. <laughs> but here's the back. And so depending on how you put this, you can generate power in the back. And as you can see, you've got three kickstands now. And these are really nice kickstands, by the way. They are made well. They're made to stay. And uh, here's a strap that allows you to change the angle. But nice, nice option. And you get three of them, which is so important to keep the panel straight. So here's the back. All right. Here's the junction box, obviously, where the cables go. And then here is the brand new built-in solar angle guide. You can see that we're off because the dot is on the bottom right-hand corner. So we're going to change that angle real quick, all right? Uh, but uh, let me show you some accessories before we connect this. Some things I recommend that you get, and I'll put links in the description. It's up to you. This is the uh, MC4 cable disconnector. It basically disconnects this cable from this cable a little easier. So I'll put that in the description. This is the old solar angle guide that still works with other panels that don't have a built-in one. Very inexpensive. Love this. And you don't have to clip it on. I know they show a clip. I lay it on. I check my angle. I put this in my pocket and I move on. Last thing you want to do is get longer solar cables so you can take your panel and put it out in the lawn or something, but keep your power station in the shade. So let's go ahead and re-angle this panel and then I'll show you the solar angle guide on the uh, unit. So before I do the changing of the angles, I want to show you something. So you see how high this thing is sitting up? I mean, that's really nice. I probably can get it a little higher, but I want to show you these kickstands and how well they work. I'm going to show you the angle so you can see how far back we can get this. Check this out. So check out that angle. And you know what's funny? I mean, this panel is a stiffer panel because it has, um, you know, solar on the back and the front, so it's a stiffer panel. But these kickstands really help get the angle a lot better, you know, depending on the angle of the sun. And that's important because if you can't change your angle, then you're going to limit the input that you're getting. But really nice, really nice that you can do that. All right, now let me change the angle and then we'll look at the solar angle guide on the panel. So here's the 220 watt. I'm just gonna put it on the grass so you can see what it looks like on the grass. This is at its highest angle. Now let me lower it to its lowest angle. So the grass, it's, it's a lot easier on the grass to get the lowest angle. I mean, that's that's a really nice low angle as you can see these kickstands are hanging back here so that's really really nice so we had to change the angle of the panel because of the Sun I mean, look at the Sun all the way up there you know, so we needed that angle to be right. And look at this, it's perfect. It's right dead centered, that shadow. is dead centered, which is really cool. Well, let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it generates. 
Now you're going to see the Delta II has an XT60i. As you can see, that little extra piece of metal on the top, right? So that makes a difference. And especially if you're going to get a cable, you need to make sure it's XT60i. Now, good news, the 220 watt comes with this cable, so you don't need to get it. So we're going to connect this, and then we're going to see what wattage we are getting. All right, we're going to connect our cable, the last part, and we're going to watch the screen. But don't forget, you can use your EcoFlow app also. All right, it'll take a moment to kick in, and then we'll see what we're getting. 160, 177, 180, 180 watts right now, holding steady. Again, even on the app, right? So... 180 watts out of a 220 watt panel not bad not bad give it a moment too sometimes because it might just take a little bit to kind of warm up again no clouds in the sky which is really good really good so i'm okay i'm very happy with 180 watts out of a 220 panel now don't forget there really is no sun behind the panel right now but you know you you could generate more depending on the angle I've seen people put reflectors on the back. You know, you should have seen the video we did on the original 220-watt uh, panel. We did three videos showing a whole bunch of stuff. I'll put an image up in the upper right-hand corner if you want to see part one. It has the links for part two and part three. I'll also include an image later on in the video. If you want to really see that video, you can click and, and go and see it immediately. But uh, 179... Right, so it says it's going to take three hours to charge. Um, we're 61%, so it'll take three hours to charge full. All right, but uh, that's really, really good. So I'm pretty happy. Here is the image to the 220 watt solar panel by Facial, the first one that EcoFlow came out with. Um, I'm going to put an, in, an, an actual link in the upper right hand corner. In a moment, you'll be able to click on it and, um, you know, see that video if you want. I'm going to call it bifacial. That'll be the word that'll pop up in the upper right-hand corner. So get ready. Uh, if you want to see the video, um, here's the word bifacial right now popped up right here in the right-hand corner. Click on that. You'll be able to see the video immediately. We'll also put a link in the video description. All right. 220 watts. And we just did the 160 watt panel review uh, just a little while ago. Now, these things are made well. And as you can see, they're even put, you know, these have always been included where you can actually hang this if you want to hang it instead. Now, the 220 I wouldn't hang because you want the back exposed also, but it's got these all along the top and the bottom. If that's important to you, I do like the. Uh, kickstands i'm glad they have three for stability look how the back is open again you got to see our original videos we did on the 220 watt by facial the uh, previous model we put everything behind aluminum mirrors you name it that video will be in the link that link will be in the video description but made well definitely a strong first impression i'm glad this is a nice update um, I like the carry case, but using it as a kickstand in the previous model just didn't work. So really, really nice, and uh, I'm glad that we got this to check it out. So folding this back up, no big deal, um, you know, and, and you can do it any way you want. You know, just watch the metal um, as far as, uh, you know, it slamming up against the panel. I don't think you need to worry, though. It's made well, but... You know, we, we, you know, you can do this, as you can see here, your panel is ready to go. And you can just take this and put it right in the case, and you're done, all right? I sure hope that helped. Here's the video image for the new 160-watt solar panel, the next-gen panel, totally redesigned as well. We'll put the link to this video in the video description. Come check it out. All right, guys. Well, I sure hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, do me a favor. Take a moment and just give us a thumbs up. It really, really helps us. 
you have no idea. And it's amazing how many people don't hit the thumbs up um, just because they don't. It's not that they didn't like the video. So that's why I'm really underlining it. And if you want to follow us on social media, we'll put our social media channels right up top here. We'll put our Tesla channel in the upper right hand corner. If you want to check out our Tesla channel on YouTube, it's at my Tesla journey one. Just search that and you'll be able to subscribe to us. And we've had the video for about, we've had the uh, Tesla for about a year. We've got about 19,000 miles on it now, and we're still learning. We're posting some videos, mostly about accessories right now, but more to come. And uh, I'll put some videos on the right side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe to our channel at Tech Made Easy, I'll put a nice round logo right there. You can click on that. Join the family. Subscribe. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.